piece a family funeral message. Family, if I could give you one gift this morning, it would be the gift of peace. People like peace not only at times like this, but as they go through their daily lives and everyday activities, there is a universal lack of peace in this world. And it is by design that it is hard to find peace, to keep peace, but through the Word of God, I've discovered that not only can we find peace, but God wants each of us, including you this morning, to have peace. Now, peace in the world is a, is a noun, and it is defined as freedom from disturbance, quiet and tranquility, <coughs> freedom from or the cessation of of war or violence. And given this definition, peace is hard to find and even harder to keep. However, the biblical concept of peace is larger than that and rests heavenly on the Hebrew word salem, which means to be complete or to be sound. Y'all, in the word of God, peace is not a noun, it is a verb. And the verb conveys both a dynamic and a static meaning to be complete or whole. This peace includes God and all his attributes. So while in the world you try to find peace and quiet, you try to find freedom from violence, which is almost impossible because the world as we know it is not set up that way. There is always something going on. There's always trouble, always problems, always something to deal with. But family, the peace that God offers means that God will get involved with your situation. That God will give you peace. You won't have to try to find it for yourself. You won't have to try to keep it in the midst of all you have to deal with. God won't take your problems away, but he will make you complete, make you whole, so you can deal with the trials that life can bring into your life. The things we have to go through can leave us broken. They can leave us in pieces. But the word of God says that God specializes in putting wounded, broken, shattered lives back together. Give me some word on that, Pastor. Psalms 34 and 18 says, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted. He delivers those who are discouraged. Psalms 147 and 3 says, He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. The truth is, that God wants to be there for us, especially in times like these, especially when the world has broken our hearts, especially when death has wounded us. And y'all, there are two kinds of peace that we need. And we gotta have the first kind of peace in order to have the second kind of peace. First of all, we gotta have peace with God. Romans 5 and 1 says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace with God comes when someone trusts Christ as their Savior and is born again. And there is no doubt in my mind that Sister Juanita fit that category. And y'all, if we have peace with God, it doesn't matter what the world brings our way, what the evil one shoots at us. When I and you accept Jesus, God gives us peace with him. So I can ask him for his peace to be with me even in times like this. I can solicit him for his peace to get me through. And when I have peace with God, he opens up the door to give me his peace. He opens up the door for me and you to be made whole. He opens up the door to get the healing that we need. 
Mm. Then there is the peace of God. And the peace of God is found only by those who have first made peace with God. Wonderful promise in the word of God. John 14 and 27. Jesus says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. What are you telling me, Pastor? Well, I'm telling you, telling you, as we conclude services here today, that there is an attitude that comes with the peace that God offers. This attitude says that I know that trouble will come. I know that things will happen that I'm not able to handle alone. Uh, but God says, in those times, I can have peace. That Jesus says he will leave his peace as a guarantee. But how do we get this peace to cover us? How do we get this peace and access it? One word, trust. You, you got to trust. I got to trust. Even in times like this, we have to trust. Give me some word on that, Pastor. Isaiah 26, 3 and 4 says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Why? Because he trusted in thee. So he says, Trust ye in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So what are you telling me, Pastor? I'm saying to get this peace, we have to trust that God knows what he's doing. So when do we do that? Trust when you want to give up. Trust when you want to let everything go. Trust when you can't see how things are going to work out. Trust when your heart is breaking. Trust when you've cried and cried and cried and can't pray no more. But how do we get that? How do we submit? How do we seal in that trust? One word, pray. Pray for it. Pray for the peace. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God and then after we do that the peace of God which passes all understanding will keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus ask for the peace trust God that he'll give you the peace when your heart starts breaking all over again when you start missing her all over again, remember that prayer unlocks the promises. When we pray, pray sincerely, God is revealed. When we pray, we let God in on our behalf. When we pray and trust, the word promises that peace is ushered in enemy may throw every weapon he has at you but he's not the one who gets the right the end of the story give him all the p-i-e-c-s the pieces of what have been broken and there the bible says if we keep on coming to him the peace will be ours is peace needed right now Yes, it is. But this word reminds us that peace is near and that when we pray, peace is now. Amen. Amen.